Today we're going to learn about the battle system on Crimson Moon at CMRPG.net. This is a brand new account, so we're going to show you from the beginning how you can effectively get ready to begin the battling process. The first item before you battle is you want to go to the My Character screen and you want to go down and distribute your AP points. These allow you to help battle better. You can see here I've got three to distribute. This is the default all new accounts start with. You can go ahead and click here and I'm going to go ahead and put one point in strength. You can see I've gained a new achievement. And I'm going to put one point in agility. And I'm going to put one more point in getting three max HP. I'm going to go ahead and heal to cover for that new H max HP. You can see now I have 18 health. And I'm going to go to the inventory screen. And you can see here that I have no weapon or armor equipped. So I'm going to want to go ahead and go to the armor shop and buy a level 1 armor, which is the rags. And you can see I can't afford it. I need to go. I've only got 999 credits on hand, so I need to go to my bank account. On the right, you can see the bank link. I've got 9,000 in the bank. This is the default for all new accounts. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw 2,000 of that. You don't want to carry all of your credits on hand because as you lose battles you will lose those credits and players can steal them. So now that I've got the money on hand I go back to the inventory screen I can click on the armor shop and I can buy the rags. You see I got the message that it was bought successful. You go to the weapon shop and I need to go ahead and get the board with nail. Now I can go to the inventory screen and you can see that I have these two items unequipped and I can go ahead and equip them. You can see I'm getting two new accomplishments for doing that. You can see now that they're equipped. You can hit the plus sign to see the specific stats for these items. And at this point I'm ready to begin battling. You can see I've got energy so I'm ready to go. It does require one energy to do battle versus a PvP player and one energy for NPC mythical creatures. You can actually use more energy at one time and it just multiplies your gains by that much. Up to 500,000 combined energy. When it says combined energy it actually takes it from your on hand in energy account here as well as your blood bank and the blood bank is basically a bank for your energy so if you were on and knew you were didn't have time to do anything you could bank this five energy and save it for later so that way every hour you gain one sixth of your max energy which you start out with five so that way you're not wasting it and you can come back and you might have ten energy ready to go if you want to have more than that you can become a VIP player by clicking the upgrade character image above and that energy will be automatically banked every hour once you hit the max into your blood bank. To get started we're going to go ahead and do battle with the bat. We can start out with Pip. He's a little bit easier character. But um, at this point as, as long as you've applied your stats and you have a good weapon and armor equipped you should be able to take the bat and you might lose a few battles. So we're going to try the bat first and go ahead and do battle and you can see here it goes through it and you can see that I actually did lose to the bat. You can go through and see that I came close so I might need to go ahead and start with Pip and work my way up a little more. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and heal. And go back to the battle arena and I'm going to try Pip one more time and this time I was able to defeat Pip just fine with my current stats. You can see from this battle I gained one experience and one credit 
and this message is saying that after taxes one experience was applied I can modify this in the my character area down here I can actually set personal tax rates and I can if I set this to a hundred percent no experience will go to my account and I will not level up a lot of players do this because there's many ways in the game like with the blood pond and creating vials that you can pump up your stats without leveling and this is called a level setter and that's explained in a different video tutorial that you'll definitely want to check out because there's two ways you can progress in the game as a leveler and a level setter now that I'm healed up and I've got a few energy left I'm gonna go ahead and try to battle a player so if I go to the battle screen I can do a quick battle search and it'll show me any character in my range that I can attack you can see the net worth this will actually show you the strength of the character and you can choose which one you want to try to go for I'm gonna try to go after one of these seven network characters so I'm just gonna choose one you can see here this is the pre battle screen it tells you preliminary stats before you begin battle you can see I'm coming out a little bit ahead on my net worth and if I have any plasma skills which I have the cloak of invisibility and if I have plasma which I do I can go ahead and use that skill in battle which will give me an edge I'm just going to ignore that skill for now and do battle you can see here that I won the battle and I actually gained 38 experience so at this point battling other players might do me better whereas if I get higher up in levels and I choose to be a leveler it might be better to battle NPC creatures so I continue to do this and I can gain levels or I can set my experience and become a level setter and still do this to gain all the additional stats and credits that is the basics of the battle system and will get you started there's much more to learn and please check out our forums and our help section for more information